Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Got a, another kit review for you today. This time it's something a little bit different. Um, been going through the stash and looking at what I've got and uh, came across this one. I seem to remember I bought this uh, at a show for like five pounds. And we can see on here it's got a price label of 20. <laughs> so um, yeah, I, bought the, I think I bought this in the Gloucester show many years ago. Um, it's actually the BJ2022JC Yongshi SVV 0.5 tons. Um, it's uh, made by Hobby Boss. It's 132 millimeters long, 64 millimeters wide, and it says 240 plus parts. And I've just had a quick bit through the box, and it's quite an interesting little kit. It's like um, a Chinese Hummer, if you like. Um, so looking around the box, it's very Meng-like. Uh, we've got a picture here of the finished model with some sprues around it, you can see there. Um, get the light a bit better for you, without reflections. Uh, and then we've got some other images there of the built-up model. We can see here it's 2011. The kit number is 82466. And here we've got some more pictures of the built-up model. And then we've got some sprue shots there. And then some uh, words all about it, but all in Chinese. So, um... Yeah, funny they should do it that way as well, rather than a normal side-on. So they've done it in portrait rather than landscape. And it's saying on here, age is 14 plus, which is amazing, because some kits these days say 3 plus, don't they? Um, quite a packed little box. And as always with Hobby Box, it's got wonderful packaging. So we've got the standard sort of just fold out. I know it's not fold out, it's a book. A uh, little booklet instruction sheet there, which we'll go through in a minute. We've got the... Um, all the different options and the colours you can do. So we've got a digital camo scheme here, um, plain green, and then we've got the um, an ordinary camo scheme with white wall tires and a parade. Um, I'm assuming this is PLAN, that's People's Liberated Army N Navy, is it? And then we've got the PLA Hungerness Camouflage, whatever that is, I'm assuming that's for food, I don't know. And then we've got the, um, the UN one here. So, um, yeah, I'm sure somebody will tell me in the comments what the PLA, PLAN are. So, um, yeah, that looks quite attractive in, in those colours. I've had a quick look through. I've got all the paints to do all the versions. So, um, it would be quite interesting to... Uh, I think it would be easy to, interesting to do this one because of the masking involved. And it would look pretty good. It's the one that's on the box front. So, there's the, the, um, the instructions and the colour cornet. We've also got multicoloured sprues. We've got one black sprue, two black sprues, and then we've got a grey, so that's three, a green, four, and another grey, five. You can see we've got a hard, hard top there in one piece, and pretty nice detail on the seats. And we'll go through all that in a minute. And then we've got the body here, which is beautifully wrapped up in bubble wrap and then placed in its own bag. And then we've got a little separate compartment here with the clear parts, underfloor, tires and some photo etch which is very Tamiya-esque so we'll have a look at that in a minute so let me get this out of the bags and then we'll um we'll have a good look through it okay I'll start off by looking through the instructions uh, as I say a simple little booklet we've got some uh, health and safety stuff here how to apply the decals and then the Chinese on the right we've got no history nothing about it at all um, no information whatsoever so we've got a sprue call out here so we've got all our different sprue call-outs all numbered and everything with the decals and chassis parts. Just a general sort of trumpeter, hobby boss sort of thing. Um, and then we're adding our bottom part of the engine. Looks like a, a tank of some sort. Looks like the fuel tank's at the back. Maybe that's a reserve tank. Um, then we've got the... Or is that a transmission cover or something? I don't know. This is probably a reserve tank. And then we're adding the axles, exhaust, prop shafts. So we've got plenty of underside detail. More axles there and then the engine sort of comes as a tray much like a toy unfortunately um, and then we've got a radiator adding in the front there um, straight onto the interior putting in the bulkhead and the rear seats um, center console pedals accelerator pedal gear stick handbrake and then onto the front seats and the rear side panels so it's got some nice interior detail there I guess with the option with the roof being open it needs to be um, needs to be fairly detailed um, unusual method of construction having not added any wheels or suspension or any components or you know wheel hubs yet so um, going on to add the, the tires to the wheels very nice touch here photo etch uh, disc brakes which is unusual to see in a modern kit in a, in a kit especially with a military kit um, 
so that's all very nice and then we've got the um, this is the steering arm going in here so <laughs> that's probably not very accurate um, and it's telling you it just clips in obviously so I don't know what holds it in um, and then we've got to it looks like we're clipping the hubs in uh, and not gluing them either so we will get working steering so we've got detailed axles and stuff but fairly simple um, renditions of the hubs then we're adding our rear lights, and usually they're showing the, um, the body upside down. And then we've got, I'm assuming the these are going to the backgrounds for the headlights. Yes, they are. And then we've got the headlights, lenses and indicator lenses going in here. And then up here and here we've got the guards going on, which are all photo etch panels. All the grills and all the mesh and everything is all photo etch, which is a nice touch. Then we're building up our doors, and they've got in, uh, photo etch nets for the interior, that's nice. Um, adding the side mirrors there and then coming on building up the dashboard um, can't see any it looks like there's no decal or anything for the um, for the dashboard we'll have a look in a minute um, and then we're going down assembling more doors here this is probably the tailgate with the spare wheel mount on it again we've got a photo etch mesh in there so every door pocket's got the fishnet on the front all um, done by photo etch which is a nice touch um, a lot of kits these days you'd have to buy an Eddard set to get that. So, including Hobby Boss, so it's a bit strange. And uh, building up the windscreen here, and then we've got this side piece here. I don't know if that's part of the frame or if that's um, an aerial or something. And then we've got our windscreen wipers, some visors there. Then we're going to build up the front winch assembly and then add the side pieces on to make up the bumpers. And we've got some little photo etch hooks going on here all over it which is uh, which is a nice touch they may look a little featureless though in photo etch because um because they're uh they're, they're flat obviously um photo etch mesh grill going in there and it looks like we've got to repeat it's a bit strange they're telling you to do the front bumper here and then it goes on about it here so you've got it there and there um and then we've got the roll cage being built up uh, what's this? This is the rear bumper with a license plate on it again in photo etch and we've got a spare wheel and tire and then we have the open car finish show and the van finish show so you can have the roof on or off um, not sure where these side windows come in if they're on the roof it's a bit strange uh, they may actually be in the clear parts but there's a few bits and pieces not mentioned in the instructions there oh here we go so Okay, but what this is saying is you could stop there, or to do this, you need to do this. And this is basically making up the side windows, gluing them on, and then adding the roof. So you've got the choice of having it um, open or, or closed up. So that's all very nice. Right, let's have a look at the parts. We'll start with the body. Um, let's bring you down a bit, bring you a bit closer. So the body's um, very nice, very nicely moulded, very crisp. Uh, no flash, looks quite oily, but I always say that. Um, we can see on here we've got, yeah, there's no date on there at all. Um, but yeah, it's all, uh, it's all there. So very, very simple um, because all of the detail is added with photo etch. And again, as I've said before, people say that people don't use oil in moulds. They do. This has got oil on it. You can see the oil down in there. Look, you can see it's definitely got oil on it. So... Yeah, nice little body there. It all needs a wash, though. So that's something to remember. And I'm not going to do a sprues in any particular order, but this one is the um, it's the Grace Brew B, and this is uh, it's nice plastic. It's got a nice texture on there. The seats look fairly nice. Little seat belt detail in there as well, which is cool. Didn't notice if it had seat belts or not. I don't think it has. Um, and then we have got the rear seat detail there, roll cage. I'd have thought I'd have had some padding detail on there, but it hasn't. And then this is side mirrors by the look of it, or headrests perhaps. Some pretty big sprue connection points. But this, this kit is getting on, you know, it's, um, what is it now, eight years old. So, uh, yeah, but it's, uh, it's all there. Then we've got this sprue here. This is sprue E, uh, one of our black sprues. We've got some leaf springs there. We've got our chassis, which is fairly nice. Nothing majorly to write home about, but it's a chassis. And then we've got this um, 
simple engine bay detail here. Probably best just glue the bonnet shut, to be honest. And we've got our axles with our coil springs. We've got coil spring fronts, leaf spring rears. We've got our prop shafts there. And there's the uh, rear axle. Uh, the rear axle, rear bumper. This is our steering arm. We've got a differential there. Brake calipers by the look of it, front and rear. So uh, yeah, there's that little external tank that goes underneath. I don't know what that is. Or maybe a water tank, I guess. Then we've got, uh, here's our wheels. You can see, got some detail there. The left wheel there, that's the spare. So it's got some uh, hub detail on it. And then here we've got our separate hubs for the other wheels. Our engine and gearbox there with our transfer box. Um, very simple looking exhaust system. Radiator there with nicely moulded uh, mesh on the grille, which is quite nice. And there's our top of our radiator there. And this looks like part of the winch with the fair lead on there. So yeah, all nice. Then moving along, we've got Spruce C. We've got our dashboard, interior door panels. This all looks very crisp and sharp. It's lovely. Really, really nice. Um, backs of the seats or bases of the seats is that. And then we've got the rear side panels where the, um, you know, behind the rear wheel. Um, yeah, nice. We've got some vents on top of the dashboard there. So that's been slide molded. And uh, you can see the dashboard is pretty nice. And I'm looking at the decal sheet. I think we have got decals for it, although they're not called out. So, um, yeah, steering wheel. And then we've got the uh, control column there with the, um, with the sticks on. So that's all quite nice. And then this is the last sprue. Um, we've got our bonnet here, obviously, or hood. Doors, looks like under guarding. Um, front bulkhead there, and then these are the top parts of the doors for the uh, the rear, rear um, for the doors for when you put the hard top on. And this is the rear tailgate, and obviously there's interior detail there for the tailgate, so it's just simplified on the inside. Um, and the front looking very Hummerish, as you can see there. Then moving along here, we've got our floor pan, which is obviously one piece. Got some nice detail inside and notice that back even in 2011, they've kept the ejector pin there underneath the centre console. And it looks like these here may be hidden as well. We'll see, but uh, they'll have to be sanded out anyway, I guess, to make the, um, the side panels fit. But um, yeah, it's all very nice. It comes as a separate piece. It looks like there's the injection point there. So... Uh, yeah, and under detail, uh, detail underside and on top, which is a nice touch. So what have we got now? Let's look at the clear parts. Beautifully protected, wrapped in foam, in a bag, in a separate compartment in the box. You know, just like uh, just like modern kits, eh? <laughs> um, so let's do the uh, let's do the writing test. See what they're like. They should be okay because they're flat. So. You can see here there's, there's no real distortion there, so they're okay. I'm looking at the windshield and I can see, I don't know if I can get to catch it in the light, but over here there's like some like some marks in it, like when you see an, on a Victorian house or something, it's got original glass, you see the marks in the glass. But um, I'm not going to fuss about that. Yeah, very nice. Let's get that wrapped back up in its foam again. And then back in its bag for protection. We don't want to get scratches on our clear parts. Get the instructions out of the way. And here's our tyres, which have got um, Advent Adventura. <laughs> Advent Adventure AT GT Radio. I don't know if that's a genuine Chinese tyre manufacturer or if it's just fictitious, but it's on both sides. Tread detail is really nice. And I'm not sure, I need to look under my magnifier. They've actually made these tyres, they've got no seam. They're, um, they're beautiful. They're really, really nice. Well, there may be a seam there, but it's... It's hardly anything to speak of. They're fairly hard as well. But um, yeah, very nice. Five of those. 
And uh, also the other thing worth noting, if you saw my Revell um, GT40, they ripped the inside of the tyres out with a pair of shears by the look of it. And you can see on these, both sides, set as the tyres are perfect. And then the last bit of uh, the kit here is the photo etch. Um, very Tamiya-esque. It's the stainless steel by the look of it. It's fairly rigid. It's fairly thin. What is it? Um, how thick is it? 0.2. So it's eighth out thick. So it's fairly thin, but it's quite stiff. So uh, it's going to ruin your cutters, whatever you're using. But you can see we've got some... Um, piece of card it should make it easier to see we've got our brake discs across here license plates mirrors um, not sure what they are there I think they're little vents for the sides and then we've got our protection grills that go over our lights and these are the hooks and everything for the front bumper and then we've got our grill there little um, fishnet grills for the doors more grills for the headlights and some more vents I think these are under the windscreen on the scuttle panel and a little hook there I'm not sure they should have made those out of photo etch. They probably look a bit featureless, but we'll see. So, um, yeah, but all in all, very, very nice for its um, for its age. And like I said, I think I paid a fiver for it. So, and then moving on to our decals. And um, as with always Hobby Boss, they got the, the, the cover sellotaped on. Now, if you saw my build of the Spitfire you'll know what I think about Hobby Boss decals and I think this kit is about the same era so God only knows what it's going to be like but um, yeah we've basically got um, some numbers here for our whatever uh, we've got tyre lettering there and I can't see what that says let me look under here yeah they've actually got the tyre lettering it's not only moulded on the tyres it's got flicker in there sorry guys um, it's not only moulded on the tyres, but they've also given you a decal for it, so I don't know why you wouldn't just paint it. But uh, And then we've got letters here, I'm assuming these are for the number plates. So you've got the full alphabet there, that'll be handy in the spares box those. And then we've got a load of numbers here, which I'm assuming are serial numbers for different um, battalions or groups or whatever. Then we've got our stars here. And then these silver bits are... Looks like they're labels for the actual, but yeah, it's 3.2 litre diesel. There's our dashboard there. We've got number plates there in plain or there. So we can make our own number plates or whatever. And then we've got Chinese writing here, the decals number 12. And then these look like they're actual um, labels, you know, and um, badges for the bodywork. And then that's another part of the dashboard by the look of it. So yeah, well, nice. Um, just wondering now if it does actually call up on here. No, there's nowhere where I've seen where it calls up any um, decals for the dashboard, so very strange. But there we have it, guys. That is the BJ2022JC uh, Yongshi SUV 1.5 ton. It's a lovely little kit and out there for a bargain price, and also with all the different colour schemes available, you can see on here. Be a fantastic little practice in for um, your airbrushing and your uh, masking especially this one here which is um, if I do it this is what I fancy doing so there we go guys thanks for watching um, I hope to uh, have some more reviews up for you very soon please um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and if you have subscribed thank you very much we're over over 1700 now which is wonderful um, and uh, yeah, give me a like if you like it, give me a dislike if you don't, but, but please tell me why. So I'll see you all soon.